Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone. Preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe. Preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say Shalom to your Akim out there. And this is another uh, news article in the news. This was uh, recently. And this is from the uh, news. E. I mean, this is from the news. UN. Org. And this is from the UN News Global Perspective Human Stories. And the article reads, um, sanctions are U.S. way of war. Iran president at the Iranian uh, president at the U.N. And it says, um, this was published on September 21st, 2021, UN's Affair. In his speech to the high-level debate at the UN General Assembly on Tuesday, Iran President uh, Said Abraham Reza uh, called for an end to United States sanctions against his country, describing them as a method of waging war. Yeah, and this do makes sense because Joe Biden had made an, uh, a speech. Uh, I believe it was at the UN. Did you do or die? Yeah, at the UN meeting. And he was stating that, uh, you know, he's not trying to raise a cold war. But this right here from what the Iranian president said, you know, since you're doing economic sanctions on his country. You know, he, he look at it as this as a wage of war, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to continue on with the reading, and I'm going to read it again. In his speech to the high-level debate at the UN General Assembly on Tuesday, the Iranian president, C. Abraham uh, Rasi, uh, called for an end to United States sanctions against his country, describing them as a method of raising war and Mr. Wright Rashi uh, described the presence of the United States in the Middle East region as a lack of rationality which have been the mental oppression people from Palestine to Syria to Yemen and Afghanistan as well as the U.S. taxpayers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he said uh, sanctions against Iran, he continued, are the U.S. new ways of war with the nations of the world and the crime against humanity, especially sanctions on the medication during the C-19 pandemic. It says, despite these sanctions adding the Iranian president, the Tyran uh, research reactor has produced uh, radio radio pharmaceuticals I believe that's how you pronounce it drugs containing radioactive isotopes for more than one million cancer patients in Iran mating progress in the field of the biotechnology and its manufacturers in its own C-19 VAT C-19 says that Mr. Rush Rod Easy is a wake-up call for the world and a reminder that all the human beings are inter intropredentic intro intropredentic I believe that's how you uh, pronounce it, I guess. It says, continue on with the article in the news. It says, turning to the, turning to the threat of terrorism, Mr. Raisi warned that the ISIS ISIL will not be the last wave of extremists in declaring that terrorism has its root in crisis such as I, there is no throne. 
It says turning to the threat of terrorism or or Mr. Raiz warned that the ISIS as I will not be the last wave of extremists in declaring that the terrorist has its roots in crisis such as identity economically and the facts that modern lives have been devoted of meaning and spirituality as well as the spread of poverty demonstration discrimination and oppression have helped the rise of terrorism. He stressed that the uh, occupied Zionist regime, regime was the organizer of the biggest state terrorists whose uh, agenda is to slaughter women and children in Gaza and the West Bank. The so-called deal of the century <laughs> failed the other deals forced with the Palestinians, he said in state, there is only one solution holding a referendum, which is the participation in all Palestinian and all religions and all ethnicities, including Muslim, Christians, and Jews. That's that new world. That's all that. That's that B system right there for all religions to come together. According to the old descriptions, you know, most has not dealing with that. Now, continue on with the article. It says, nukes have no place in our defiance policies. On the subject, on the 2014 Iranian Lukia deal, known formerly as the Joint Conference Plan for Action, Plan of Action. The JCPOA, which sets out rules for monitoring uh, Iran's nuclear program and paves the way for the lifting of UN sanctions. Uh, Mr. Rashid demand that the implementation of the international rules and the calls of all parties to stay true to the deal. The production of stockpile atomic weapons and forbidden in Iran by religion decree. Mr. Rashid declares nukes to have no place in our defining structure and to create policy. In Iran, clues the president is need to have a larger scale political and economic cooperation and coverage with the rest of the world. The new era has begun. Yeah, so, you know, this the Iranian president taking shots at America and taking shots at Joe Biden, you know. And Joe Biden talking about <laughs> her, he ain't gonna uh, have no, he's not looking for no Cold War. But on these economic sanctions, and I'm had, and this makes sense too, because I uh, mentioned this before on my uh, previous uh, videos about the United States are uh, doing economic sanctions on these countries. Even if it's from a financial standpoint, if it's from a political standpoint, you know, if it's from a nuclear standpoint, it doesn't matter what category it is, because, you know, these other countries and other groups of people from these different countries, they're going to look at these economic sanctions. You know, that's, that's another way of raging war on their countries. So what? whatever Joe Biden's talking about, he's not trying to raise no Cold War. Hey, you were in different types of uh, many wars as well, too. And I seen uh, another article um, about uh, the United States going to deploy more uh, troops into Iraq, I believe. There's going to be a, 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 a operation tour for the next couple of months, I believe, and over there in Iraq while uh, they pleading for a withdrawal of troops over there in Iraq. But hey, you sending more troops over there into Iraq, you know? Of the, uh, what the, that's what have been damaged, what's been caused over there, you know? But that's, you know, that's another topic at hand. You know, that's a side note. But as far as this concern right here, you know, the the president, the new president of Iran, you know, y'all saying y'all, uh, raging war on his country throwing economic sanctions on him you know but you're talking about you want to uh joe biden you talking about you want to get back to a nuclear deal you know be on the side with the iranians to come to a nuclear agreement but wait a minute the president said you uh raging war on his country you know saying of uh these economic sanctions you know 
And then you say you don't want no core war. But you still got other wars going on around the world as well, too. And from an economic sanction standpoint, as you're doing on these other countries as well, too. So, hey, you know. <laughs> so, hey, that's all I want to uh, say about on this uh, article right here. So, you know, I just uh, brought another article up that came to my attention. You know, I might upload another video as well, too, in the news article. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, bring this news article out in the news that a uh, the Iranian president saying from out of his mouth, you know, uh, he's saying sanctions are the U.S. ways of war. Iranian president at the U.N. So, hey, you know, these other nations are tired of you of, uh, you know, these other nations are tired of uh, North America doing these economic sanctions on them, you know, because that kind of really affecting their economy and stuff like that, you know. Is from their money exchange to the material goods and everything in all categories, you know. So that that, that you know that these other nations and this president in Iran, they looking like these other economic sanctions. They these are a different parts of a type of war that the United States are creating, you know. So with that, I hope this was edifying in the news article. As I bring out to upload more videos and in news. So with that, I would like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bahashem, Makar Kardash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, the rule well, Christmas work, truthfully safe and strongly and sincere. Shalom to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas work, truthfully safe and strongly and sincere. And shalom to the Hakim that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's word, truth and faith, and strongly and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom.